Rue Touareg, Boa Vista, Cape Verde Islands. Five star hotel, or not a five star hotel. Let's have a look.
So, is it a five-star hotel? Well, I base my five-star reviews on, on quite a few things, and the service, the cleanliness, the food, and the amount of time you enjoy being in the place. So, just quickly, I'm just going to go quickly through before I make my decision and tell you exactly what I think about it. Uh, cleanliness is a big thing. You will always see him cleaning the floors. Uh, and in regards to cleanliness, yes, it, it, was, it was very, very clean. Uh, can't really knock it. It was spotless. Uh, the only thing I would say, and the biggest downfall were, is it needs an update, a major, major update. Uh, talked to quite a few people who, who actually have been quite a few years ago before the pandemic, and they says that basically it's gone downhill. Uh, unfortunately, but that's where things gone. We've had a pandemic, people have had chances, business have had chances to actually update them and clean them up. It's not been done, definitely not. Uh, so in regards to it, my views were confirmed by people who's been before, and they said they wouldn't go back. Would I personally go back? I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, we had a junior suite where you upgraded. I think it was about just under £500 for the week. Do I think the junior suite was worth upgrading? We had a little bit of an extra living quarter where you could sit down whatsoever. You had a jacuzzi. You had a balcony. You actually seen the video. We had a balcony with two rails across. Uh, the problem that we do find out, the views are beautiful if you stand up. If you sit down with the table, uh, the two rails blocks the view. So you've got to really sit up to look through the rails. So personally, no. It, 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 the, the balcony, it, it's loads of spacious, but you can't see the views when you sit down. And a big problem we did have it was the flies. I've been to Cape Verde with my wife uh, on three other occasions, the island of Sal. Whether it's Boa Vista, I'm not too sure, but the flies were horrendous. You could not sit out on the balcony, maybe because it started June. We've been February, March, April. It might be, might be a different time of the month. So all I'm going to say is, no, the balcony, the upgrade was not worth it. Uh, problem you do have is, and I've never had it before, I didn't have a problem with it, but I could see other problem, uh, people having a problem with it. Mosquitoes, never ever, I Googled it, and it says, do you get mosquitoes in Cape Verde? It says, no, Google, you need to sort yourself out. There was loads of mosquitoes, there was loads of people, you could have played dot to dot on the legs, the shoulders, the arms. Uh, some people really suffer with mosquito bites, and boy, what, what happened to us, we, we, we had one in, in his room one night, and I tell you what, you ain't going to sleep. Uh, Mike the Mozzie is round your head. You will put your, your your covers over, you'll leave your arm out. At the end of the day, I had enough of it. I just left my arm out because it was sick around me. I just, just bite me and go to bed. Uh, it didn't bother me. It bit my wife quite a few times. Uh, I think it all depends uh, on your skin. The only thing I would say is get some mosquito repellent. It will cost you at least 15 euros uh, at the shops. It is very expensive on the shop for a little, little sprayer or cream. So, big tip there. Mosquito repellent. Uh, Another way I base my reviews uh, and think it's five star foods, buffy foods, uh, not good. Uh, I didn't find it much good. Uh, the problem you do have and all is buffy food can be can be a little bit. It's a miss, and this was definitely a miss to me. Uh, you did get it. It wasn't quite warm enough. There's a lot of people on this complex. It's a massive, massive complex, and this is the main eating area, and everyone's down at the same time. And when you're going for your food. You one step forward, two step back, and people, they can be criminal getting the food. They'll crawl all over you. Uh, there's no excuse me, I'm, with, I'm before you, and excuse me, you can have that. It's, it's not good, it's not good. And, and the food, uh, taste-wise, mm, it's a miss, uh, but not not warm enough, not piping up. That was a big that was a big downfall for me. Uh, the other restaurants that you do walk in were very, very nice. It was a steak bar. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful. Beef fillet, done lovely. Total different food altogether. So you'd have to book them at, at, at the reception. There is three, an Asian one, a state one, uh, and the Boa Vista one, which we didn't go to. Uh, so Buffy food, big no-no for me. Uh, in regards to the adult area, yes, it is a lot quieter. You do pay that, uh, that extra fee for it, uh, but it was Springbank. It's a big complex, John, and we love the, uh, the peace and quiet. Uh, it, 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 it was good. It was, it was really, really nice. Major problem that you do have is at night, night time, the, the, the lighting around the complex outside the activity area is going back to the room whatsoever. If you've got a bit of a walk from the activity area to your room, uh, what I'm going to say to you, that the lighting is very low around the complex at night. I walked into some bed coming back after a few beers. I wouldn't blame the alcohol. I'll tell you that for a story. But we were going out one night from the room along the swimming pool area and virtually we nearly end up in the swimming pool uh, because the... 
the, the lighting was so low. So all I'm going to say to you is it's very low light around the complex, and I was quite surprised how low it were. So just be prepared uh, and just be, just be very, very careful. So my overall view, uh, before I do that, what, what I did forget to tell you is the beach, beautiful beach, long beach, goes on for miles. My only problem is when you go from the complex to the beach, uh, you've got quite a walk, even though beach is attached to it. But the, the sunbathing area is around about 2, 250, 350 yards uh, towards the sea. Uh, it's a very windy island to sell. The, the, the wind comes from the Sahara, and it's a very strong wind, and it can lift the sand off the beach, and it can pelt you at your sides. Uh, it did feel like I was getting a session of dermabrasion, or getting sandblasted. Uh, so we didn't go on the beach well one afternoon, and I think it was enough for me because... One major, major problem is that you don't have a bar on the beach in many complexes you do. So to get to get a drink on the beach, you had to walk back to the the, the area where the bar was in the hotel. And you, you, you're talking, it's a fair walk. It's a very fair work. So if you do go to the beach, please take a bottle of water or some liquor refreshment. There is no drinks on the beach. All right, there's no way you can get a, a drink on the beach. So... My decision time, and I'm going to tell you what I actually think. Is Rui Treg a five-star hotel? No, by far it's not a five-star hotel. Very outdated. Talked to a few people, like I said, uh, who went three, four years with pandemic. They says it's got worse. Uh, I can't judge that I wasn't there, but I can really believe it. I can really believe it. It does need updating. There's quite a few newer hotels in Cape Verde. Mealy students we've been to were absolutely beautiful. It flowed, everything was right, the boys were on the beach. That's what we pay for. Uh, so my review is not, it's touching around about a four at the most. No more. It does need a major, major update. All right, there's quite a few things you do, class thinking on cleanliness. We said it was all right. Food wasn't good, uh, apart from the restaurants. If you're not bothered about food, just fill your boots. You'll be happy. Uh, in regards to drinks, if you if you are a drinker, then you'll be fine. You'll be fine on the local the local uh, local beer, Strella. Sure, you've had it before. Very light lager. You'll never ever get tip. You'll never ever get tips. Are you going to fall over on it? It's stuff to make you relaxed. Uh, and if you do no inclusive for five cents more, then it's going to be loads of fights. It's going to be trouble. It ain't going to do it, are they? So it, you know, it's enough for refreshing. What we did find out the cocktails were absolutely terrible. Uh, we tried one or two. There's no alcohol in them, but obviously the taste of the mixture wasn't wasn't good. Uh, but all the all, all these things I'm telling you are my personal experience. That's all I'm doing. It's not the same for everybody. We could have had a bad week whatsoever. I didn't have a bad week. The weather were brilliant. But my experience at Rue Treg is it's not a five star hotel. Definitely not. I just thought the information I've given you it, it is helps you along to make a decision if you want to go. All right. So I did enjoy my week. Don't get me wrong, the sun, the weather was brilliant. Uh, I went to relax, and that's what we did. So, would I go back to Ruby's Reg? No, I don't think I would do. And there's not a lot of hotels that I say about. So, in regards to everything, no. I'd try no one in Boy Vista, I think. Uh, but there's a serious, serious upgrade needed at Ruby's Reg. And I hope, Ruby, are watching this video, because it's a serious problem you may have, because you need to get it updated. People are paying some good money to go on all day. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's useful. Any questions, I'm quite happy to answer. Wherever you go, enjoy.